So I'm a commissioner to the 222nd General Assembly and um, I was part of the COLA and the worship planning team and it's been a, a much more, I mean I thought it'd be interesting and fun, but it has been more redemptive and spiritually renewing than I, than I first expected. Um, I was on the Middle East Issues Committee and as you can probably guess, most people thought that would be a pretty contentious thing partly just because the, the issues are so complicated and the overtures coming can be controversial uh, due to the nature of Middle East issues in Palestine and Israel and so forth, um, including most significantly the whole question about financial boycotting, divestment, and so on. And, uh, and there were a number of overtures that had different uh, approaches of, at that. But in the end, what happened in the committee was the thing that I want to talk about the most. It was redemptive and uh, uh, renewing because of the spirit of the committee and the way we were able to come together and um, adjust and amend each of the overtures such that we felt like each one came out stronger. And for example, the first overture that came up, I proposed an amendment that would have changed the wording slightly and it failed by 38 to 40. And what that told us real early on was that the room was pretty evenly divided and not of one mind on a number of things. Somebody then got up and proposed a different amendment, which was, in my opinion, maybe a better one. It passed. And little by little, as we worked our way through the amendments, we got to where on the second day, everything was passing 67 to 20, 58 to 20, there was a kind of a thing that happened in the room of consensus and, 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 and working together. Um, uh, we didn't agree, and, and I don't think people all of a sudden agreed at the end, but what happened instead was we worked together on a task to try to make these overtures as best they could be to say, we've heard the opposition, and you can tell from how it's worded, but we didn't gut them. We still retained the intent of the original um, hope to really advocate for for, for the Palestinian people and the violence they've endured and suffered. And so that to me was just profound. The worship and the singing together in the community of the Bible study of that committee was part of what happened. But I also just think that the spirit of coming together, and that was the thing that I, I was surprised by. I mean, I really felt that there was a spirit in the room um, and that um, was not something I expected out of Presbytery General Assembly Committee. Um, another thing that happened to me here, was I was approached by some people I know and friends to do a commissioner resolution, which means two people can bring to the floor of the General Assembly something that would normally take two presbyteries in several months. And that's kind of a strange position. For four days, you have like ultimate power or whatever. Um, but again, what that, that's supposed to do, I think, is acknowledge that, yeah, sometimes the Holy Spirit can work. Um, and my worst sense is, well, it's, you know, it's political, but my best sense is maybe, maybe it does work. I mean, maybe there is something about being in this big of a group committed to this that puts you in a space to receive that spirit and hear it in a different kind of way. And maybe that's why they have commissioner resolutions. I never even thought about them much before. didn't know how to even do one. Went to a workshop that passed their peacemaking committee by 40 to 4 to advocate for reconciliation in Korea. Um, and so what I'm hearing from a number of committees and what I feel about this assembly is that theme of reconciliation is actually bearing out in some of the work. And it's tedious and we fiddle around with the details of wording, but wording matters and it makes an impact. And if you don't think, you know, like I maybe kind of didn't, I was like, you know, I didn't know if I even wanted to go. I'd never been to a general assembly ever in my life. It's like, what difference does it really make? What voice does the church really have? Well, I came away feeling that the church still has a voice and it, and it matters. And, and I found out I care a whole lot more than I do on some of my worst days. And I think maybe I'll go back a little more committed and to some of my better days, quite frankly. Um, and that is not something I thought would come out of this. I'm thankful to God that it did. And um, so, hey, I'm a Presbyterian again. <laughs>